Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. In this video I'll show to you guys how you can fix this kind of problem that you may have with the Visual C++ Runtime Library. This runtime library is used from different softwares and different applications and sometimes it's difficult to identify which one of those applications or softwares is giving you this kind of error. If you know which application is causing this problem, the first thing that you have to do is just uninstall it and install it again, that application, and check if this runtime library error will go away. If you don't know which software are you using or uninstalling that software didn't fix the problem that you may have, then there are two solutions or two methods which will help you to fix this kind of problem. The first thing that you have to do is to download the runtime library once again from Microsoft website and install them from the beginning. So the latest Microsoft Visual C++ version is here on this website of Microsoft. I'll put on the description below the link on it so you can come directly on this website where you can download the latest version. So you have two different options, xx86 and x64. This is the kind of architecture that your computer has. Usually it should be x64, the one that you need. But if it's not the correct one, it will tell you that this is not the correct library. So that's why you need to try the other kind of architecture that your computer may have. Good. Once you have downloaded this setup file, you just double click on it in order to start the installation. Here you just accept the license requirements and then you click over install and then the installation of Visual C++ library. It will start the installing on your computer. It will take some time, but at the end, you just give a restart of your computer and then try it again if that error will show up or not. So here it is now, Microsoft Visual C++, the latest version is installed on my computer. You have to do a new start in order that the software or the library to be applied on your computer. For the sake of this video, I'm not stopping this one right now. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead to the next step or to the next option that will fix your problem. And the second method is by using the Cloud Cleaner tool for Windows that we need to download from Adobe.com. There you can download this tool and clean up the files and try to fix this kind of problem that you may have with your C++ library. I'll put a link on the description below so you come directly on this page where you can download the CC Cleaner tool installation problems. So once you are in the page of Adobe, you have to scroll down till you go at this option here where you have to define which kind of operating system you are using, Mac OS or Windows. I'm using a Windows one. And then you just click over download and the Adobe Creative Cloud Cleaner will be downloaded on your PC. We just double click on it in order to run this cleaner. So we double click over there and then it will pop up the CMD page. And over here you have to choose the language as a beginning. I'm just going to choose English. You just have to write E for English and then you press enter. Do you want to use this software? Blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to say yes or just Y and then enter and here you have to choose from one of the following options to clean up you can choose which one of these programs you have installed on your computer and you are having issues on your computer i'm just going to choose one which is for all of them and then i'm going to press enter and here you'll have the list of products installed on your machine actually as you can see in my case i don't have those but you have two main options which are clean all and fix host file I'm going to choose clean old, which means that this will clean the files that are related with this programs. So basically it's trying to clean up those programs to make them runnable or to make them work again. So I'm going to choose two. In this case, you choose from the option that you see there clean all, or basically the number that is beside the clean all. In this case is two, but it should be, it could be another number. And then you press enter. Are you sure you want to clean all the listed products and associated files? Type yes. So this will not delete the program. It will just clean up them. I'm just going to say yes. And we press enter. Please wait for Adobe Creative Cloud Cleaner tool to finish. And just an introduction of this kind of tool is intended for advanced computer users and can fix many common problems such as removing old Adobe software, cleaning corrupt installation files and fixing your host files to establish a connection with Adobe servers. 
this should help you to fix this kind of problems. Once you'll see this information, which will tell you Adobe Creative Cloud Cleaner tool completed successfully, then it means that any kind of problems that you may have from Adobe and it's showing this kind of error with the runtime library, then it will fix this kind of problem. So basically those are the two main methods that you have to use in order to fix this kind of problem with the runtime error that you will receive from C++ library. If you have another method to fix this kind of problem, please share with us on the comments below. Please consider subscribing to our channel if you like our content. Wish to you all the best. Thank you.